stars, hide your fires. Let not light see my black and deep desires. The eye wink at the hand which let that be, which the eye fears when it is done. They met me in the day of success, as I have learned in the perfectest report they have more in them than mortal knowledge. When I burned in desire to question them further, they made themselves air into which they vanished. Whilst I stood wrapped in wonder of it, came missives from the king who all held me fain of Cordor, by which title before these weird sisters saluted me and referred me to the coming on of time for the hell king that shalt be. Oh, I thought it good to deliver thee, my dearest partner of greatness, that thou mightst not lose the dues of rejoicing by being ignorant of what greatness has promised thee. I it to thy heart and farewell. Glams thou art, and Cordor, oh, it shalt be what thou art promised. Oh, yet I do fear thy nature. It is too full of the milk of human kindness to catch the nearest way. I would speak great, oh, not without ambition, but without the illness to attend it. Highly hither that I may put these tidings in my ear to have thee crowned withal. What is your tidings? The king comes here tonight. I'm not mad to say it. Is thy master not with him who are at some have informed for preparation? So please you, it is true, our fate is coming. He brings great news. Oh, the course, that croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements. Come, you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts, unset me here, fill me from the crown to the toe top, full of direst cruelty. Oh, make thick my blood, stop up the access and passage to remorse. Call thee in the dunnest smokes of hell to cry, hold, hold! Oh, great forms, why be called all? Thy letters have transported me beyond this ignorant presence, and I feel the future in the instant. My dearest love, Duncan comes here tonight. And when goes home? Tomorrow, as he purposes. And never shall sun that tomorrow see. Your face, my thing, is as a book where men may read strange matters. Beguile the time, look like light for the time. They're welcome in your eye, your hand, your tongue, look like the innocent flower, but be the serpent under it. He that's coming must be provided for, and she shall put this great night's business into my dispatch, for all our days and nights to come, give so many sovereign sway and master. We will speak further. Only look up clear, to all to favour ever is severe. <laughs> 